Just a quick one guys before we get into today's video, we have released our July drop, we have the Liverpool Originals t-shirts, along with the We've Conquered All of Europe t-shirts. Do browse the new collection by going down into the link in the description or going to copyclothing.com. Anyway, let's get into today's video. And hello everybody, welcome back to the channel guys, I hope you're all well. Before we do get into today's video, as always, please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Liverpool content. Guys, we're trying to get to 50,000 subscribers, so if you haven't already, please do consider hitting the big red button. And in return, I'll keep you in the straight and narrow of everything with regards to Liverpool Football Club this summer. Okay, in today's video, we've got a few bits to go over with regards to sort of Jordan Henderson, as there has been a bit of an update from Saudi report that we're going to go through. We're going to go through the reason why Liverpool could have found a Fabinho re replacement after a latest reveal. Uh, we're also going to be going through Curtis and Harvey with their report date back and we're going to be taking a look at the new pitch. So yeah, quite a few bits and pieces to discuss. Uh, but let's start with the Saudi reports with Jordan Henderson. Look, this is starting to be a bit of a saga if you like as it has been sort of dragged out. We already know the latest. The latest I provided to you yesterday was that uh, Jordan Henderson had arrived back it would arrived into Germany and as I said despite personal terms being agreed with the Saudi side uh, the club, the two clubs, Al Etifak and Liverpool, are still in negotiations over a fee for the player. Basically, the state of play is that Liverpool do not let, want to let him go for free and want a minimum of £20 million. Al Etifak are said to only have £17 million as their transfer budget. So it is a bit of a weird issue. Um, however, there is an update from another Saudi report this morning, basically stating that the deal is done. And as I said, the engagement with, uh, with Jordan Henderson... Uh, um, is going to, well, they are going to agree a deal as Jordan Henderson is willing to sort of take his wages down in order to sort of compensate Liverpool and put a bit of his wages towards the transfer fee. Now, that's what's sort of coming out of Saudi Arabia. Um, as I said, sometimes you've got to take it with a bit of a pinch of salt. But as I said, um, I've spoken to a few people and the, basically the reports or the sources that these are from are fairly reputable and are reputable within the Saudi Arabian space. So as I said, it is apparently being agreed that Jordan Henderson will give a part of his share uh, of his wages in favour for Liverpool to facilitate his transfer. The agreement between the two uh, teams is very close. So as I said, that's what reports are stating in Saudi Arabia. So um, yeah, the next video I make could be about Jordan Henderson be going uh, and leaving. So it doesn't look like he will be going out of the door. Now, that's um, very, very cool um, in terms of, you know, Liverpool going to be likely getting a fee for the player Jordan Henderson leaving after 12 years not so cool uh, Fabinho also the latest with regards to him is that it's pretty much a done deal as I said Liverpool just structuring and brokering the deal as, as we speak with Al Hittahad he will sign for £40 million which now brings us to today's part of the video Liverpool have found Fabinho replacement yes over the last sort of couple of days we've had a flurry of different players sort of being linked to the football club from different journalists whether that be Paul Joyce, Fabrizio Romano, Melissa Reddy, uh, Neil Jones and all the rest of it and basically they've all come out with a list of players that Liverpool are supposedly having on their shortlist as potential replacements. However one player's name that has been very very consistent amongst all of these journalists reports is a man called Florentino Luis and basically reports are stating this is a like for like replacement essentially for Fabinho, almost like a young Fabinho. So in this part of the video, guys, I'm going to let you know who Florentino Luis is, basically give you some facts about him and tell you a bit of stuff about him, uh, the interest in Liverpool, the scouts, and just all the rest of it. Just give you everything you need to know in regards to Florentino Luis. So anyway, let's get through it. Um, so as I said, he's 23 years old. Born in Angola, Luis certainly ticks a lot of boxes for what Liverpool are looking for to replace Fabinho. Uh, are Liverpool interested? Well, yes, we believe they are. Uh, there were talks last season of Liverpool scouts in attendance at several Benfica games to watch both of him and Antonio Silva, who's a centre-back. Over the weekend, journalist Neil Jones, uh, speaking uh, on his covering Liverpool YouTube channel, said Luis is a player you would urge to look out for in terms of uh, the club being interested. 
interested. Going back further, Portuguese outlet Ojojo uh, claimed Liverpool's interest last October, reportedly inquiring then about a potential move for this forthcoming season. Also, I said Melissa Reddy, also with Sky Sports, stating that there is a concrete interest there from the club in the player. His basic information is as follows. He's 23. Uh, he's six foot one. His contract is until 2027. His preferred foot is right. And at international level, he currently plays for Portugal's under 21s. What is he like? What's his style of play? Well, if you watch his videos, and let's be honest, you've probably searched them on YouTube. Um, just hearing his name being linked to Liverpool, you're going to say that he looks a lot like how Fabinho used to, putting in front-footed tackles, making interceptions, blocking shots, and basically breaking up play, which is just what Liverpool really need to have, as we didn't have that much last season. Um, Jones also said he's a very Fabinho-type player in terms of defensive midfielder. He gets about the pitch, gets his foot in, strong in tackle, really good defensively. If Liverpool are looking for a like-for-like -like replacement for Fabinho, this would do, they could do a lot worse than uh, look at Florentino Luis. According to who scored, he is a strong at tackling, intercepting and playing short, simple passes, which matches the eye test. A potential fee. Now, this is usually the uh, the, the good question for, for Liverpool. Basically, um, his release clause after signing a new contract back in October, when big clubs started to show interest in him, was a staggering £103 million. But Liverpool would not play, pay that, as we know. Liverpool would be looking to do business significantly below that uh, figure. And as I said, just because his release clause is £103 million, I don't think Benfica would be getting anywhere near that that sort of fee for his services. Um, in terms of experience, uh, for a 23-year-old, he has made 12 appearances in the Champions League, four in the Europa League, 86 appearances for Benfica, and 11 for Monaco, where he spent the 2020-2021 season on loan. As I said, in terms of his play style, or who does he play like, without saying Fabinho of four years ago, um, well, he does play similar to Fabinho. Literally, it is like a like-for-like -like replacement. Um, as I said, he is this, He is in the 95% percentile for pass completion, 99 percentile for interceptions and for tackles and interceptions combined. Uh, what is clear and his strengths tackling, intercepting and passing. This definitely does look like one to keep an eye on. So Florentino Luis, there you go. That's a bit of information with regards to him. Literally a like-for-like -like of four years ago, uh, sort of Fabinho sign. And as I say, Liverpool are very much interested in the player and could make the signing. Uh, also, just to finish off today, guys, uh, today's video, Liverpool have installed the new pitch for the uh, new upcoming season. That's all done and finished. Um, and then lastly... Um, Curtis Jones and uh, Harvey Elliott are set to be reporting. They're the last two to report back for pre-season this week. Just goes to show how much little time they've had off, really. They just won England under 21 Euros, which felt like a, a literally a week ago. And they're already ramping up for the new campaign. Mental. But yeah, they're back set to return this week. Uh, but Liverpool fans, do let me know your thoughts on um, Florentino Luiz. And is he a player that you would like to see Liverpool go and make a move for? Yes or no? Let me know down there in the comment section below. That brings us to the end of today's video. As always, please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Liverpool content. Remember, we do have Liverpool t-shirts available on our website, so do browse the collection by going down into the link in the description or going to cobbikeclothing.com. Thank you, and I'll see you all next time. Take care. Peace.